morning guys. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Garrick, the absolute gentleman of the sea, the cleanest fighter, the most beautiful fish. Not really. Um, Garrick, Lichia Mia. Um, very interesting looking fish. Uh, a face and body really only a mother would love. <laughs> they, they are pretty fish, don't get me wrong. They're very, very white stomach, gray on the backs. Um, interesting shape, almost diamond shape. They go up more where their pectoral and dorsal fins are and then taper off both sides. Big mouth, similar to a queenfish. Um, big mouth, sandpaper like teeth. Um, it's for grabbing, grabbing fish or your squid or your crabs. Anything like that. Swimming crabs, obviously, they're not hunting in the reef itself, they're hunting above it. Uh, so yeah, that sandpaper teeth is designed for grabbing, scaling and, and eating fish, keep, keeping hold of them. Uh, another name for them is Leerfus, which is the Afrikaans. Um, that comes from Leer being leather. So the, the actual scales themselves are very, very, very fine. So it's almost, almost as if they don't have scales. Nothing like a cob or something with big, big scales. And then these are very, very tiny. And their skin actually has a leathery type feel to it, so that's where the name comes from, leather fish, leafus. In terms of where to find them, they are migratory species. They're very dependent on estuaries, the juveniles are all in estuaries. So if you want to have a lot of fun, take a very an ultralight stick, small little poppers, and go down the south coast into the Transkei and throw these, even down into the Cape. Throw little poppers and watch little Garrick from, from that size, you know, up, upwards just love smashing those little lures. They're very aggressive little predators. So that's, that's an extremely fun way, especially for kids to go out and have fun. Your adults like hunting behind backline. They, that's where they, their favorite food is mullet. So a live mullet is, is really the best bait for them. Um, otherwise, quarantine, blacktail, any of shad as well, anything in that, that, that short inshore zone, uh, any fish that you're gonna find there, obviously of legal size, that uses a live bait is just, Perfect. They spawn in KZN between September and November. So they're really around here more in the, the winter months. They, they follow the sardine shoals up. It's one of the species like your yellowtail, like your kingies that, that move up with the sardines as they come. Obviously a very big food buffet moving along. They're just going to keep following it all the way up. Your, our tagging uh, project, the one that Ori has been running, has shown some incredible movement. I mean, we've had fish caught in KZN, they've been re caught in the Cape and then re caught again in KZN. So, really, really big movements of fish. Um, one, one thing that we didn't mention earlier was the, the lateral line of the Garrick. So, on the Garrick, you get this very distinctive line that moves all the way along from just behind its head and then drops down into its body and comes back up again, which is a distinct feature of them. They, very, very good at, at uh, feeling movement and vibrations in the water. They don't like hunting in dirty water, but they do like hunting in the white water just behind the waves. So if you've ever dived uh, in the shore zone, you'll notice as the wave breaks, there's so much white water you can't actually see. But the Garrick with that lateral line can actually feel the vibrations from the fish around. So he's still able to hunt even in that shallow water where the fish get disorientated because of that white water. Uh, in terms of sizing of Garrick, they matured about 75 to 85 centimeters. That's why the legal limit on size is where it is. They grow to a maximum of over two meters and about 50 kilos. So that's an absolute giant. In South Africa though, the biggest recorded size is 32.2 kilos and that was a fish of 1.8 meters. So not really the biggest, uh, not really up to that 50 size theoretical max that we, that the scientists have, have come up with. Um, and then maximum age is about 10 years. So not a very long lived fish, but they do grow quite quickly. So from those little juveniles, they, they really spring out quickly and then the adults move out into the offshore waters. Tackle wise, if you are fishing with live bait, you've got two options. You can either throw the live bait or you can slide the live bait. Sliding has the advantage of not killing the live bait as quickly. So when you throw the live bait, because it's being thrown through the air and it lands with a big splash, it is going to damage the fish a bit. But throwing a live bait is, in my opinion, a lot more successful and a lot of the old sea dogs will tell you it's the only way to do it. Because you get to keep your, excuse me, you get to keep your live bait very, very close to the shore. And that's where the Garrick's hunting. He's not hunting very, very far off. He's very close. Um, if you're going to be sliding, you want to use a return clip, so not the non-return. So your live bait can swim all the way to your sinker and all the way back. And you can move through that area where the Garrick is going to be hunting. 
and if you're going to be targeting with lures, bucktails work extremely well, paddle tails work extremely well, surface lures, spoons, anything actually. He's a very, very ferocious hunter, um, loves eating all, anything with a good, good movement to it. And yeah, spoons, S-Bend spoons work well for them, bullet spoons work well for them, so really any lure that you can throw, he, he will enjoy and will, will attack. Um, the guys often hook him in the tail or on the side of the body because the Garrick actually flashes instead of just completely attacking the lure. He'll flash the lure a few times, hit it. I'm not really sure why they do that, but I think it's probably just to stun the fish before they eat it. In terms of uh, spinning for them, you are looking sort of at a 10 foot to 12 and a half foot. Uh, any one of the divers will, will do you right for that. Uh, your reel sort of a 4,000 is, is more than adequate for that. And as we say, the braid, very nice. You can impart action to the lure a lot easier. Also throw a lot further. You've got direct contact with the fish. You can always feel what he's doing. So light, lighter spinning tackle, more on the medium side of things. And yeah, in terms of the sliding tackle, you're wanting to be throwing probably about a seven ounce to nine ounce sinker just to be able to hold the the bait or hold the sinker in place while you slide down. You don't want it pulling loose. Um, yeah, as I said, gentlemen of the sea, lovely fighting fish. You can catch them on quite light tackle, surprisingly light. Um, yeah, so get out and backline on your boat or from the shore around estuary mouths where they're most likely to be. Uh, throw some lures, maybe swim a live bait, and yeah, hook into the gentlemen of the sea, the Leofus. Cheers.